independent network, news on channel 9. Everywhere that you go, no matter where you are at, I said you talk about this and you talk about that. When the cat took your tongue, I say you took it right back.
Homecoming festivities. During the past week, we have celebrated Homecoming 1987 with the theme Cartoon Creations. From Powder Puff Football on Monday evening to the Junior Varsity Football victory on Wednesday night, we have rung in the Trojan spirit. Last night, we capped off our week's celebration with a bonfire and a pep rally. Throughout the entire week, throughout the entire week, each class has worked toward completing a winning flight. The victorious class will be announced at the end of halftime. Each year, the senior class selects four very special individuals to help with the events of the senior year. At this time, I would like to introduce the mascots for the class of 1988. Please welcome Mrs. Miss Rhonda Izzard and Mr. Brian Kevin Radford, escorted by Miss Kate Redman. Also welcome Miss Robin Ashley Bourne and Mr. Nigel Lamar Kelly, escorted by Miss April Rowe. I would like for you to turn your attention to the center of the football field. Please wel welcome the lovely ladies of the 1987 Homecoming Court. Representing the sophomore class is Tina Bynum, escorted by a brother, Mr. John Bynum. Representing the sophomore class is Nikki Smitherman, escorted by Robert Dodge. <laughs> the junior class representatives are Andrea Barefoot, escorted by Father Mr. Dolan Barefoot. escorted by her father, Mr. Bill Reed. The Garner Senior High School Senior Class has selected five young ladies to represent them. Please welcome Ms. Dana Austin, escorted by Gianna Poe. Miss Dana Nix, escorted by her father, Mr. Daryl Nix. <laughs> Miss Heather O'Connor, escorted by Lamar Adams. Jackie Spencer, escorted by Donnie Adams. Also representing the senior class is Miss Denise Watkins, escorted by Steve Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the Garner Senior High School Homecoming Court. Just a 
penny loafers, lucky strike green, flat tops, sock tops, Danny Baker, Pepsi please. Ah, do you remember these? Cigar bands on your hand, your
mother yells, she'd be annoyed, but his pop would tell her.
Steelers' Anthony Barber ran for three touchdowns and 205 yards tonight. In the process, he broke the 2,000-yard mark for the regular season. The Trojans also had a couple of impressive touchdown runs coming from sophomores. Number 32, John Leach went up the middle around the linebackers and passed the defensive backs for six points. And then, before the first half was even over, Chris Dorman took a punt, changed directions, and went all the way himself. Garner overbrought in 35 zip. The Trojans end the regular season with a Cat 9 championship and a 10 0 record. At Millbrook, it was smash em, bash em football with the Wildcats taking it to the Carey Imps. Carey's Tommy Crowder did throw for one touchdown, however. It went to David Burns, but the Imps were no match tonight. Millbrook, 21, Carey, 6. Yards. You did it, Garner whips Broughton 35 to nothing and captures the Cap 9 title and a bid to the 4A playoffs. Yeah, I remember the first day of practice was August 1st was on a Saturday and that, after that practice I, I said oh my, my gracious well, I'm afraid we're in for a long year but we, we've improved tremendously and uh, we just right now we have a very fine high school football team. From Gretchen Stadium in Raleigh I'm Tyler Rubble. Sports on Savage get right to it Ronald. The Halloween edition Trick or Treat High School Football is here our Friday night coverage begins with WTVD's Game of the Week Dwayne Ballon has the story of unbeaten Garner visiting Raleigh Broughton it was a truly memorable night for Lucy Brown. She took a ride as Broughton's 1987 homecoming queen. But for Lucy's team, it was truly a forgettable evening. The Cats watched helplessly while the second-ranked Trojans rolled over them to a 21-0 halftime lead. That cry from the Broughton coaching staff was in vain. In the second half, the Garner onslaught continued. Early on in the third quarter, Garner superback Anthony Barber scored from the one to make it 28-0. The fans were yelling for 154 yards from him. Number 43 needed that to set a new state single-season rushing record. Behind a powerful offensive line, he riddled Broughton's defensive unit for over 200 yards and easily set a new mark with over 2,100 total yards for the season. Defensively, the Trojans were overpowering, completely shutting down Broughton's vaunted wishbone attack. The final, Garner 35 brought nothing. At game's end, Hal Stewart was treated to a shower by his players. It's the best shower I ever had. I'm so proud of this team and the coaching staff. Uh, there's no way. 15, our weekly list of the top 15 high school football teams in our viewing area, regardless of their classification. This, of course, compiled by our uh, crack panel of experts. There, as always, we'll go upstairs to the equally fabulous Allison King, the pride of Goldsboro, and the drum roll. Oops. What was that? <laughs> now, I told him last week that wasn't, we, we, I didn't got tired of that other drum roll. different, you got it. All right, Allison, we'll see you after the show. Anyway, still number one as they have been the entire season, the undefeated Garner Trojans. Garner has compiled the regular season, the finished the regular season with a perfect 10 and 0 mark. Here we go. Number one, Garner. Number two is Whiteville. Number three, Northern Durham. Number four, Oski. Number five, Fayetteville, 71st. Number six, East Duplin. Seven, Red Springs. Eight, Greenville Rose. Nine, Wallace Rose Hill. And 10 is Fuquay Arena. 11, East Wake. Number 12, James Keenan. 13, Millbrook, 14 Tarboro, and the three-way tie for 15th between Northampton West, Zebulon, and Lee County. Hope your team's going to be there next week. That was a heck of a drum roll, wasn't it? All right. Tumble and fall 
or the mountain should crumble to the sea. Just as long as you stand, stand by. 